Loops are incredibly powerful tools in programming, allowing us to execute a block of code repeatedly in Lua. The for loop is often used when you know exactly how many times you want to repeat a block of code. It has a straightforward syntax, where you specify a starting value, an ending value, and an optional step value. Each time the loop iterates, a variable is assigned a new value within the specified range. The while loop is another fundamental concept in programming that allows us to repeat a block of code as long as a certain condition remains true. Think of it like a repeating task that continues as long as a specific condition is met. Imagine you're playing a game where you need to collect coins until you reach a certain score. You would keep collecting coins until you achieve your goal. The while loop works similarly in programming. In this example, the loop starts with i set to 1. As long as i is less than or equal to 5, the loop will continue. Inside the loop, we print the current value of i and then increment it by 1. This process repeats until i becomes greater than 5, at which point the loop terminates. The while loop is incredibly useful for scenarios where we don't know in advance how many times we need to execute a block of code, making it a valuable tool in your programming toolkit. Both the for and while loops are control structures in Lua that allow us to repeat a block of code multiple times based on certain conditions. Despite their differences in syntax and usage, they share several similarities. Both loops are used for iteration, which means they execute a block of code repeatedly until a certain condition is met. This makes them essential for automating repetitive tasks in programming. Both loops are used for iteration, which means they execute a block of code repeatedly until a certain condition is met. This makes them essential for automating repetitive tasks in programming. They rely on a condition to determine whether the loop should continue executing. In the case of the for loop, the condition is typically related to the loop variable, while the while loop evaluates an arbitrary condition. The loops offer flexibility in terms of how they control the loop execution. For example, in the for loop, you can specify the initial value, loop condition, and increment or decrement in a single line, while the while loop allows you to customize the loop condition more dynamically. Although the syntax differs, both loops allow you to increment or decrement a loop variable to control the iteration. In the for loop, this is done implicitly through the loop control expression, while in the while loop, you manually update the loop variable within the loop block. Both terminate when the loop condition evaluates to false. This ensures that the loop does not execute indefinitely, preventing potential infinite loops that could cause the program to hang or crash. Overall, while both loops have distinct syntax and use cases, they share fundamental principles and serve similar purposes in controlling the flow of program execution.